Well, since we've participated in the Live Well community, our pastor strives for us to eat healthier, not just outside of church, but inside of church as well. We've also been participating in Scale Back Alabama, and every couple of Sundays, Auntie Karen does a weight check and all of that stuff to let us know our progress. You know, the main thing that, that helped me was to plan your meals. And then when you plan your meals, go and shop according to your meal plan. And if you bring in the right food, then you're going to cook the right food, and as a result, you're going to eat the right food. I have a six-year-old daughter and a two-year-old, and what they eat now and what we put in front of them now are the things that they're going to be eating when they're out on their own um, as young adults and adults. And so to introduce healthy options for them, fresh foods, fresh vegetables and fruits now, it just sets their palate so that those are viable options for them when they're on their own. And so I think that same mindset I have for my own kids, I also have for our youth and students here at our church. I used to could do maybe a couple laps in swimming. Now I can go 20, 25. We used to have fried chicken. We would have a lot of unhealthy stuff. So we just like weeded out a lot of sugars and put more healthy things in so we'll live long and finish strong. We have the community garden, which uh, we're able to use what's harvested from that just to help people in our community, whether it's here at church for a community dinner or if it's uh, our, some of our neighbors or members who um, perhaps have challenges of purchasing food. So that's been uh, one thing we continue here.